Good day friends, welcome back to the channel. Well, it hasn't been a terribly successful week as far as the weight loss goes. I'll, I'll put that the, uh, the weight reading right down below. Okay, it's weighing day. Six point nine five, so that's tiny one point one five more than last time. Point one five up, so that's for a drink of water. It's not, it's nothing, but would have been nice to lose a little bit more. But uh, that's not the end of the world. I tried using my body mass scales. Now, I don't know if this is going to show up. That says body fat's gone down from 33.3 to 30.9. And the BMI has gone from 33.8 to 31.4. So, I'm claiming that as a win. Which I've only managed to successfully do once before. And I did get a reading, so I'll show you the difference there between... I think it was June uh, 23, before I injured my knee. I was just about to buy it to embark on another way, uh, another fitness regime. I bought this Fitbit, and I bought those weight loss sc those uh, scales. And two days later, I did my knee, in and I was off for five months. So that, that's the reason I went from I was 103 back then. And I went up to 109.3. My waist has gone down to 40. So even though I haven't lost any actual weight, I've lost an inch, another inch off my waist. So that's a bit of a win. I've got a, a Tall Tales and True. It's a very short one. I've been trying my uh, surf skate out, trying to get back into that. Hey friends, something a little bit different this afternoon. Welcome back to the channel. I'm taking the surf skate over to um, over to the netball courts, and then if that's successful, if I can still ride this thing, which I haven't been on it for a couple of years, I'm going to go and have a look at the pump track. Whether or not I'm going to have a go on that, I don't know. I'll just play it by ear. But uh, anyway, let's go and have a look and see what we can find. Okay, I'm going to give it a go. I haven't been on this for a couple of years. I've never been on this with shoes on. I always had bare feet, but if I'm going to go to the pump track at some point, I've got to get used to shoes. So I've got all the gear on. Just a little bit, a uh, little bit of trepidation. I think that'll do me. I might go and have a look at these uh, this pump track. Well, here we have. 
have the pump track and it's looking pretty intimidating didn't think it'd be that steep wow not a bad spot though right on the beach I had a bit of a disastrous run today at um, at the uh, pump track, not the big pump track that I that you'll see shortly, which I'll show you. It's the toddlers' pump track where all the littlies, like two and three year olds, go, and I couldn't even handle that. I came off on my backside. The kids thought it was really funny. Oh. <laughs> a great start I had um, a little boy uh, Ryan I think his name was and uh, he's he's told me straight up don't get in my way you know don't get in my way and I was a little bit intimidated but Ryan is three you know <laughs> so <laughs> oh Wow, that's wor that's way harder than I expected. Crikey! the three-year-old show you how it's done <laughs> just too many kids now but humiliated by the kids track keep going oh. Good afternoon, welcome back to another Tall Tales and True, although this time it's more of an observation rather than a, than a story. I was uh, skating along here three or four months ago and uh, I've stopped at this bench here for a rest. I'll just show you. Now the bench opposite me here had a very elderly lady sitting on the bench eat, um, all dressed up like, like in her Sunday best and kneeling next to her was an elderly gentleman obviously what well, I'm guessing was her the way he was holding her hand and the way he was looking at her it was his wife and he was kneeling down and he was feet he had a tub of ice cream there's a cafe over the road here. They must have got an ice cream. And he's kneeling down, feeding her this ice cream. And I'm just sitting here, uh, resting from, from a, riding the skateboard. And I was just, just struck by how, just by how gentle and loving and devoted he was like he he never looked up he never he just his eyes were only for her and the sad thing was her eyes were just staring straight ahead she was looking at me but she was looking right through me there was no no recognition no flicker i'm guessing that she probably had some form of dementia and he was either taking her out from the, for the day from the from the hospice or uh, maybe from home i'm not quite sure Sorry about the traffic noise, but this is a very busy road. Anyway, as I'm sitting here, just observing, trying not to intrude, like, you know, it's like a, a fairly private moment, I suppose, watching this pair. And just for a brief second, now you could probably say this is my imagination, running riot, you can call it what you will, but for just for a split second, it was like I was seeing like a palimpsest 
like a painting on top of a painting and instead of an old man kneeling down in front of this elderly lady he was a young man and he was asking her to marry him and she was um, laughing and, 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 and really happy and it was only for a split second and this story has just stuck with me every time I pass this because I ride past this a lot on the lake over here it's just the pathway I ride on I think about that couple quite a lot and uh, just how wonderful it's got I mean they must probably be been married for 60 70 years who knows but they're in their late 80s early 90s I would guess but uh, yeah it just struck me it's just one of those beautiful moments and if I'd had the camera on I don't think I would have filmed it. It was that sort of intimate. It was that private. But I felt uh, privileged, I suppose, to witness it. So anyway, that's my little story. It hasn't been a terribly successful day. The weight loss front's been a bit, bit of a disaster. The, um, the pump track, well, you'll probably see the results of that, but it, was, it did not go well. So anyway, on that note, stay safe and we'll catch you on the next one.